Hey, there we go. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, welcome to another round of Kanji Plays, and today we are going to be unboxing Tainted Grail. Now, uh, just to let you all know, I was that, I, I was probably that 1% of people who said, I don't want split shipping, I want Tainted Grail all together. So, while everyone was enjoying Tainted Grail, <laughs> I had to wait until it all completed and get complete one box shipping. And the box came in and it's over here on my left, your right. And, but the box is about the size of my gaming table and pretty darn big. So if I put it on my gaming table, it'll probably like be about this high and you wouldn't be able to see anything. Not me, not the box, anything. So my plan is to unbox it on the like I'll I'll cut it open on the side and then bring the stuff out on the table so you can all see what it looks like. So it's it's gonna be a a, a, a hoot and a half. <laughs> so uh but uh my my buddy um Cody he, he and I back this game together and we're gonna be playing this game together. So he will be joining me on live stream as we go through and play through this game. But we wanted to get the unboxing out of the way so we could dig into the rules have some good time. He wanted to be here with me today, but uh, he wasn't able to. So, uh, but he was just like, go ahead, unbox it. Don't wait for me. Read the rules. You know, wait, let's figure out how to play, and then we could just start playing it, because we've waited way too long for this game. So, uh, Cody, if you're out there, we're going to play this game, man. It's happening. It is happening. All right, so let's... Um... I don't even know if I could get to the table. I gotta, I gotta get my handy dandy, uh, cheap, uh, Home Depot Exacto Stanley Exacto knife to cut our way into this bad boy. So, um, hmm. I think that's pretty much all I got. So let's get down to the table. I'll start cutting into this thing and putting stuff out on the table so we can get through it and we can enjoy this unboxing. I am super amped for this game. The first information. <laughs> So, uh, Tainted Grail, thematically it's a 16, overall it's a 76, which is really huge off board game geek. It's got an 8.4. Um, complexity of it's about a 3.28. Best played one two player. Hey. <laughs> right. That that's 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 my language. That's what I'm all about. One and two player game. Solo or or uh, you know, with one other person, which Cody will be joining me. Um, made by a grand group of designers that I will not begin to butcher their names. Kristoff. Kristoff Piskorski. Piskorski? Kristoff Piskorski and Marcin Swerer. Swercott. Swercott? Swercott. Hopefully I got that right. I apologize if I got it wrong. Um, the artists, grand group of artists, because I heard the art on this game is beautiful and published by awaken realm so i don't know if this game will hit retail but it went to the backers who backed it way back yonder <laughs> so all right now it's time. okay so table's empty we got painted grail right here for you to say which one we're going with you know and she like you know, right over okay okay let's begin this thing is beast. I'm splicing it here on the side. Oh, this thing. Ah. Really wish I could load it on the table, but here we go. Word. <laughs> so we've got. Got echoes of the past that we're gonna open up. There's a box on here that says Cane and Grill Surprise Box. Uh, how do I get you out? Cane and Grill Surprise Box. So there's a surprise in here. Like massive amount of styrofoam. Holy cow! Okay, so um, wow. All right. So we've got Red Death. 
Mounted Heroes. Monsters of Avalon. Oh yeah, I don't even remember that we ordered these. <laughs> Holy cow, what the hell? What the heck? You got uh Age of Legends and Last Night campaign. Somewhere. That's a heavy box. We've got Contain and Grail proper. We've got another Monsters of Avalon Past and Future box. <laughs> a lot of stuff. We've got uh, Companions, whatever that means. Then we got this cool book here. We've got this interestingly like, cool book. And, oh, look at the. Yeah, I guess it's something that we get to write in like a journal or log that we get to put everything in. So we'll. Uh, we got this. Whatever is in here. Let's see. The coins pertain to Grail. Did we, or we ordered all this stuff. Wow. And, and, last but not least, the neoprene mat. I know we ordered that. So, all right, let's, holy balls. All right, so let's open up, I gotta move some stuff so we can open up stuff. Here we're gonna, cause we gotta go through all this stuff. We get to go through it all. Okay, this, this, here and this thing right here, this, this heavy beast. Okay, we're gonna go bit by bit. So we've got see my ceiling fan. All right, so we've got Tainted Grail: The Fall of Avalon, game by Kristoff Piskorski and Marsons Murkoff. Awaken Realms. Same here, and here we go. Tainted Grail is a rich story, a rich, a story rich survival and exploration game for one to four players set in the dark universe that blends Arthurian legends and Celtic mythology with a unique dark vision. Each player controls one uh, of four unlikely heroes who must face impossible odds where, str where stronger and wiser champions have failed. Nice. Uh, chased by the encroaching twisted power of the weirdness. The weirdness. Uh, fighting an uphill uh, battle against depleting resources and challenging encounters the characters set out to achieve the impossible and die many times in the process. Okay. A system of story, tr story triggers lets players see the long-term consequences of their actions while a deep branching storyline allows them to tackle problems in different ways, ensuring no two games play alike. Four double layer trays, eight high quality models, 10 plastic dials, Three French birds, two toggle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Ten plastic dials, 760 cards, 200 plus pages of exciting story, eight adventure maps and letters, 110 markers and tokens, 15 chapters, two to three hours each. <laughs> oh my gosh, one to four player. Open and play, so it looks like quick save mode. Like, like a nice little disc that's on there. And uh, 14 plus, because they got some... Some themes here. All right, so let's uh, let's dig in. Let us dig in. This thing says TG English CB Naima. So I think we should have Naima. We should, because I, I we back to get all of them. All right, fuck, insane. Here we go. Let's open it up. Hey, Grail, start here. And they jump. <laughs> so start here. This open and play guide will help you set up and start your first single player adventure in Avalon and teach you all the basic game rules built from approximately an hour of play. It does not include any spoilers for the main campaign. This, Aether feels, listen, this is what I'm talking about. It's saying like, um, let's see, D, unpack your models, get everything out together, tells you what to do. 
Um, 1D, unpack universal markers. 2D, take the blue chips, how to do it. That's 2, where's 3? Because it skips the 4. Math, bad, bad math. And then it just steps through every single step to get everything set up and so that's it. Then start of the day and then it walks you through how to start everything and what quest to pick. And then it shows you the tutorial save sheet on how to do it. So this is what's played first to go through everything. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> then you've got the rule book. First thing I'm going to look for. So there's a rule summary. This is good. Quick, quick look reference of all the things. And there is an index. That is fantabulous. Index, good. Index make me happy. There's a table of content. You get your characters, Maggot, Alil, Beor, and Ara. The four dweller model and three men here's. And tons of cards. Some basic information. Look at this artwork. It's gorgeous. Uh, campaign setup, so it tells you how to do it. Playing the game. Is that a one or a D? Like one, two. Oh, it's a one. Just poor text. What? Basic rules. Good stuff. Nice artwork that's in here. We'll go through that. When we learn how to play. What in life? Oh, exploration journal. I'm gonna open it. <laughs> hey, there's Naima. There's her there's her sheet. So she was a um if you backed early, you got her for free. But if you didn't back her out, like the 24-hour thing, you would basically have to buy her as an aside. And so we, got, we, we backed early, so we were able to get her included in what we had. So there is Naima. The save sheet. This is a plural status. Statuses. Statai. Status. So there's a save sheet. Nice. Naima, I know you're not easy to pinpoint, so I pray the All-Mother this message reaches you in time, and that you don't discard it without reading. <clears throat> Two years ago, I saved your life, dragging, your unconscious, dragging you unconscious from the Underfern. You told me you were honor-bound to repay this debt, and now I am forced to remind you of this promise. As you've seen, the men here all over Avalon go dark. Something has broken. Spring will not come. Something wrong is happening in Tuathan. Lord Yevin secretly gathered the five strongest and wisest people of Honach, including me. I lead this group east to seek help in Camelot before it's too late, before the land sinks into weirdness. There's a good chance we will never return. Therefore, I and some of my friends are putting a second plan in place. Within a month of our departure, a second group will depart on it, hopefully uh, learning from our mistake. These people won't be as experienced, and since your knowledge of the island is unparalleled, I'd like you to act as their guide and pathfinder. Should they be weary of you, which is to be expected considering your troubling reputation, show them this letter. Then, do what you can to save my hometown or ensure your new companions won't share our fate, whatever it may be. Abret, Master Pathfinder of... Watch. So this is Naima's car. There's letters everywhere. There's letters for... Uh, alien? Holy There's letters for everybody. Magic all the way around. All right, so... Look, there is a lot here. Uh, what are these letters? There's letters for everyone. Bayor, Maggot, Arev, and Alil. So there's letters that talk... So this is the intro to their stories on why they're doing what they're doing. And they just added Nymas for the Kickstarter piece. Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't know what this is, but there's stuff here. It's like a map. Like, like a map here. 
but I don't I don't know what it means. It, it looks like this is this is where kind of where we are. Far higher moon ring tomb Camelot Timberwolf Crow's Nest. So it's like a little mini map to look at. I I don't know what they are for. <laughs> so but that they have letters for everybody. It's, that's how you introduce them. So as we introduce characters, we get to read letters. I just read you nine. Alrighty. What do we got? What do we got? Four, five, the nine is in. The men here is huge. They are huge. Hey, Jason, how's it going? Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So fast. So we can... Oh, there's sunken boards too, which is pretty cool. Actually, it's pretty cool. All right, so they're sunken boards, so the chips would sit in the yeah, how they protrude out a little bit. Like it's got some thickness to the board. I don't know why this looks like it. Oh, <laughs> so if you don't want to play allele for this one. You can pop in another character, so it's the pop in, pop out system. Just uh, put them in and set them in. So there's empathy, caution, spirituality, aggression, courage, and practicality. So this looks like positive and negative. And I'm assuming they give abilities. This is energy, health, and terror. So I'm assuming we want health to stay high, energy to stay high, and terror to stay low. Then they've got these deep pockets. Like I said, if you can look, if I bend them, you can see how they hit, they divot in a little bit. So they've got these deep pockets that could go in and do that. That's pretty cool. And there's one for Bayor. Oh, and the abilities. Sorry. Healing herbs. Um, two energy restores one health. To you or another character in your location only out of settlement. Traumatize. You can't reduce feet terror when resting in a location without an active man here. So she's got an interesting story to tell. Uh, Bearer has the same board, it's just a different color. Uh, but craft. Or energy. Draw three random craftable items and pick one only in a settlement. Hmm. Weapon building. Okay. Uh, fester, festering wounds lose one health every time you become exhausted. I don't want to become exhausted, whatever that means. Okay. Maggot? Shoot the dog tubes, maggot! Um, meditation. Two, two energy gain one magic up to four magic. Two, and recovering addict. When dreaming, toss a dial skull. Read the nightmare inside if available. So they've got, they've all got negatives. I think these are not like the best people in the world. Uh, Arab, foraging, gain two. No, two energy, gain one food out of settlement. Curse, activating men here costs one more magic. So they've all got problems with it. Where is the back of the cards look pretty cool too. They're all the same. Did she fall out? Yeah, she fell out probably because I popped her out. <laughs> so I have to keep her. Gotta keep them together. Alright, so Awaken Realms is really good about this stuff in terms of uh, building up, having uh, a trade for organization. So let's see what we've got. We've got, let's see if I can find the character. So who's the alien? That is you. Her. So nice mini. It's it's not the best, but it's pretty solid. It's there's also info on the back of the insert. Ooh. Oh. oh, there you go. How to set them up. You are absolutely right. Thank you. Yeah, this is awesome. So setting her up an outcast whose entire family perished in the weirdness. 
she makes a modest living selling healing herbs and roots to the locals. So she has starting resources, reps, play with the side down. And this is what she, her starting attributes are that. So for these bits here, they get put in. Thanks. Thanks, Jason. So that's pretty cool. So it's a little bit of a story for all of them. A simple farmer with not so simple past. Years ago, as a young mercenary, he helped raise many villages and shrines to the ground. Now a mysterious curse follows him. So these are not like the happiest people. See this maggot? Yeah, it's like maggot. A renegade of the Druidic Order whose innate powers are curbed by his destructive addiction to mixtures and mushrooms used by the druids. So he's he's a drug addict. Okay. 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 <laughs> and Beor. A local smith known for short known for short temper and incredible strength. He does his best to conceal a festering, unhealable wound in his side that he received under mysterious circumstances. Hmm. Solid. So the B squad. Gotcha. Alright, so we have. Here she is. That's her. Hell yeah, this is Bayor. They're in there pretty darn tight. So this is Bayor. Cool. This is Arav Sight. Like pretty thing. Maggot. There's Maggot. Got like beard. Something in his hand. I don't know what that is. And Naima. There she is. I didn't see her card. It's in here somewhere. I'll find it. Alright, so we've got dice. West. North, east, south, blank, X. So movement direction, I assume. And then this cool die that runs one, two, oops, three, <laughs> four, five, and six. So six sided dice. This one looks direction. This number has nothing to do with it. We've got tokens, inner tokens that are on here. Um, these are they're they're numbered. A lot of bags in here too. Monster ring fifteen. So this is this is kind of playing into the ether feels bit, um, where there's secrets and things that you unlock. I'm gonna open up all this stuff. So give me one sec. Before I do, let's see what's at the bottom. Nothing. I fit in the box. There we go. The men here is look at this thing. Thing is massive, and yes, that's a hole through it. So it's pretty cool. They've got like an area here for a ticker timer. That's one. I forgot how you were in here. Oh my god. One. They're all different. This one's holding a cup with arms crossed. This is probably the one you saw in the box. Behind it is like a guy standing there with a sword. Huh. That's got meaning. So that. And this one. Hands up. All these things. Hands up! All these things have meaning. The guy in the back of this one. I'm assuming all that has meaning. And then we've got extra bags. 
and these open. Pop these puppies open. But these look like the chips, like what we have. So there is one with the grail. It's numbered one, two, eight, and a skull. There's same skull. Okay, they're all the same. They're all the same. Yeah, they're all the same. So they're all. And I think these are the things that go inside the menhirs to count down how much light they have left. Ooh. <laughs> uh, let's put these in. <laughs> More extra bags and. Oh, I know what those are. I know what those are from watching the Kickstarter. So these things here. Uh, I can pop them open. Oh, okay. These bad boys here. On the board, they're blocks. So it's like, if, I, if I'm stuck here, then I put it here, and these, I can't move above. So like, for bear, let's say it's like, okay, health is at six. Then my energy gets capped, and my terror gets capped. So you're kind of, as you're moving down, you're kind of capping how much energy you have, which is showing like a weakness, like how weak you're getting until, blah, you're dead. So you don't get to be like, oh, I'm beaten to death, but I still have all the energy in the world. It, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> so, those here. Then we've got this stuff. I don't know what this is. Maybe money. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It's like they they don't stack, but one of them looks like an hourglass. See, and the other one looks like a grail. I don't know what these are, but there's a whole bunch of them. So we will find out what they are. When we play the game. Here. Right now, I, I haven't a clue. Okay. Then let's dig into some big cards. Order of the day. Start of the day. Remove the expired men. Remove the expired men here and discard locations that are out of the here range. Reduce all time and here dials. Remove time tokens. Reveal the next event. Okay. That's the start of the day. During the day, until everyone runs out of energy or passes, players perform one action each in any order. So it's like, you do something, I do something, you do something, I do something, type of deal. And then the end of the day, we rest, restore our energy to full. If you're exhausted, restore four points. So you got to make sure. So, so you have to make sure. And if you look here, it says exhausted. So my thing is, if we're spending energy to do stuff, I got to make sure I don't become exhausted uh, with him. Because I'll, I'll, if, if, I, if you become exhausted, I lose one health. Nice mechanic. Very nice mechanic. Very, very nice man. All right. This. So order, okay, so these are player sheets. And then it just says the actions that you can do. So you can explore, flip your location card, read the text on the other side and resolve any rules. Travel, move to any revealed location connected to your current one. Check if the reveals, if this reveals any new locations. Check for any rules marked with lightning, whatever that means. Um, which probably means immediate action. It probably means immediate action. Location action, inspect them in here, character, secret, item, actions, or pass, end your day. So, four for four players. The icon glossary there talks about lightning. <laughs> Resolve immediately after entering the location. Hey, I got it right. Energy, health, and terror. 
Man hears dreams, unfriendly settlements, friendly settlements. And then character advancement, so you can upgrade. Okay. So character glossary on the back of that. Combat diplomacy icon, so... I honestly can't tell you what any of this means until I play the game. So cool stuff. Uh, oh, then these are the... Oh, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> so combat overview. This talks about how combat works. And diplomacy overview if you're going for diplomacy instead. And then the this is the maps. These are the map tiles of all of Avalon or wherever we are. And then there's secrets, kind of like a uh, seventh continent, where you pull a specific number. So we're not gonna spoil those, um, but they fit pretty snugly, which is good. Uh, that's the secret of the game. It's the beauty of the juicer. Uh, the people who don't know who Jack LaLanne is, stop making me feel old. All right, so then we've got these look like upgrades in combat. Whenever you connect something key, gain one additional red. So these are different combat things that happen. Like I don't know what the numbers are, but dream magic. Remove a dial from a man here in your location. Gain three magic and lose one rep. So these are things I'm doing to fight. And what we got here. Red sign. You can't give this card to another character. So some other weird thing happens with that. And there's numbers on the back that say secret. All of these have numbers. So there's secret stash. And not secret stash. There. I'm trying, I, I'm, I'm unboxing with trying to not look at every single secret and ruin the story. Because <laughs> I'm interested to see what the heck is going on. I hear this as a really engaging story. Uh, items. So we've got item cards. I think this thing. Which is Bill. It, the Bill always comes to. In combat, discard this item to gain three red cubes and receive one unavoidable something symbol. So that means something. Uh, is there something like a hammer that I can kill somebody? Each day, the first travel costs one energy less for you and all your party members. At the end of the day, pay one wealth or pay one rep or discard the card. Lucky Charms, they're magically delicious. Uh, pay one magic to re-roll a die or repeat a dial boss. You may accept the second result. Okay. So these are, this is the entire item deck, and then there's more secrets, which I'm not going to But this is a lot. So minus the secrets, these are all the items that you can get. This is, and the cards are that thin. So there's a lot, of, there's a lot to discover in this game, for sure. Okay, what do we got here? This looks like weather condition. Oh, chapters. So, chapter 15. Combat. Okay, we can look at that card. I, I don't want to pop the chapters only because there are probably spoilers in there. It's like, oh, look, you found Arthur. Is Arthur part of the game? I don't know. Uh, you are going insane. Sure. Encounters. A different type of encounter, so there's... Encounter silver, encounter purple. Revealed location. Okay. We've got Diplomacy, Advancement Pool, we'll look at a couple of these, Combat, and this, there's Space, Espacio, 
Alright. Then we've got Diplomacy and open and play do not shuffle this card pack. Okay, I'm gonna open and check that out. Alright, so what do we got? And it's big enough because you saw them all fit in here. I'm assuming it's big enough for sleeved. Oh, this is if you're saving. If you look at the bottom, look really carefully. You see like the disc? If you're saving your game, that's how you save your game. You put all your stuff in here. And then continue playing. So you got diplomacy stuff here. Let's go with encounters. Check that out. I like it. So we've got let's make sure everything's encounters, not spoiler. Alright. Alright, so there's blue encounters here. Okay. So there's we've got silver encounters. A fallen hero. Quest nearly claimed his life. Though resigned and broken, he will still help those he feels are worthy. If you have at least six rep, each party member choose one, gain health, or lose three fear, or draw two items. Interesting. So that's a good thing. That's something interesting. Here's not such a good thing. The bow maiden. The artwork on this thing is gorgeous. Follower of the ancient stag father. For her, you're just another prey. So we've got guardian ambush. That must mean something. Unavoidable loot, one wealth. So when I kill her, something happens. And then I guess this is how I fight her? I don't know yet. So that is there. And we've got blue encounters. And I'm just flipping over a few because I don't want to spoil too much. Weeping Orphan. Interesting. A lot of stuff's going on in this card. <laughs> so there's a meter on the side, looks like. And then there's some symbols. Maybe we have to match them? I don't know. A lot of different stuff happening on this card. You there. Dealing with on this front. Got purples. Quaples. Oh, that's purple. And green. So lots of different encounters. Okay. I'm mad with this. The purple. Flip over one. Flesh Wraith. As you grow weaker, it grows stronger. Faint. Place a dial with a quest token on Flesh Wraith and set them to one. Flesh rate's value is increased by the value of this dial. Hey, good morning, Steven. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Uh, look at this artwork. Oh my gosh, it is gorgeous. Look at that. Apparition. Your fears personified. I don't know what these symbols mean, but we'll figure it out. And all this different stuff, what it does. So the artwork on these cards are gorgeous. I'm trying not to open reveal too much because I want it to be a surprise for all of us as we play. So if y'all let's lug hey. look at that. The artwork is I want to look through every single one of these. I really do because the artwork is grand. Uh we're gonna go to Diplomacy next. Aha! Pop these open. Steven, you missed it. There's a lot of boxes to go through. If you thought Bloodborne was a lot, oh boy. <laughs> There's a lot. This is still just the first box. So these are all diplomacy cards. Okay, let's look at a few. False promise. If something, lose one rep. 
Yeah, the art is just gorgeous. It says 10 of 25, 6 of 25. Bizarre method. Possedile. Possedile. That's I, like I said. I'm trying not to go through every single card because I want there when we do our playthrough, right? I want there to be some type of surprise and 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 nice to it. This is what happens when I bite my nails? I don't have fingernails to pull these things off with. <sighs> More diplomacy, and then combat. Okay, so let's take a look at some more art. I am a false oath. And her name's on all of these. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, her name's on every single one of these, so that must mean something. And then we've got combat. More boxes. I. Uh, it's close. It's close. It's close. It's close. It's it's a lot. So combat. So Naima. Why does it say Naima? Is it just her? So this must be her special diplomacy and combat card set. Thousand cut. Interesting. I cannot wait to see what these cards mean. And I don't have a board for her, which is what's concerning me so far. There should be a board in here. For her. Maybe it's in... It's around somewhere. In one of these boxes. One of these 10 billion boxes. Uh, okay, so... Combat. Lots... and This is all combat. Lots and lots of combat. Naima can be in any board. Right, but I'd want her to... Don't I get, like, one of these things for her to set her up? That's what I'm curious about. Because we've got Maggot, Aleve. We've got the base four, but I don't see her board. It's the number one question people ask. <laughs> she doesn't have her own. Oh, boo? That's That's... That's garbage. I'll I'll say my thoughts on that in a bit. That's so these are look like combat things that happen. The artwork is gorgeous. They get Tristan to make the, the, the Tristan's artist to do this work. I mean this is beautiful. Yeah, their thoughts. This is just gorgeous. Okay, I'm trying to, let's do, let's do you, eh? <laughs> I don't know which one to pull, uh, advancement pull, I'll have to order them later. I'm sure there's a way, there's a way to order these that'll make sense in gameplay, like ether feels. This is a game I looked into a little bit, but the combat portion specifically, but I have not watched actual playthroughs. How to plays. Oh, gotcha. She has a character insert board. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Advancement pool. So there's combat, diplomacy, different colors. Lots of diplomacy. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of diplomacy. So we'll just show you some. Listen in silence. Artwork. And here is the one. Holy is first. I cannot wait to see what it's all me. Why did you say that name? What does it mean? Uh, let's see. Eh, I'll order it all later. I will, I promise you, this will be in nice working order once I'm done. Um, 
Eu vou repetir. <laughs> so this looks like reveal locations. So these are cards that are kind of sitting over specials. Oop, I want to look at those. So these are probably events that happen as you play. I don't want to spoil anything. So this looks like chapter four. Oh, chapter four, 15, 14. So this is the story. Yep, chapter one, part one. This is the story. And then you flip it over and you read what happens and what you're supposed to do. We are not going to spoil that today. I'm going to put that in the save box. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's cool. Nope, not yet. You're going insane. How did they know I'm going insane? They don't know. It's not my dad. All right, let's see. Or you, nope, yep. You are dying co-op. <laughs> okay. Um, you are going insane, says, out of all dangers on this island, the creeping madness is most, what? Most insidious. Attach this card to your character tray, uh, wherever Terra is, and then this stuff happens. So uh, these are condition. These are condition cards. You are dying co-op. So there's your dying co-op. And then there's just plain out you're dying for solo. So if you're solo playing, you're dying. So cool. Then lots and lots and lots of combat. Lots of combat. Look at the artwork. Nature's. Can't wait to play this. It's gonna be so much fun. Brutal intimidation. If that was the story, like I said, I'm not trying to spoil too much. Pretty sure at some point someone's like, "Oh, that's what that thing is." I, I had nothing. Good. Okay, so weather conditions, just like Ether feels. Weather conditions. Turn, 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 turn. Your first travel today costs one less energy. Good weather, good weather, lots of good weather. Heavy rainfall, so there's different types of good weather that help you, because this one says it costs one less energy. Uh, one less energy, bought it for the... Nope, they're all the same. Heavy rainfall, the art though, each travel costs one additional energy on heavy rainfall. And these are random events. So this is all random events. Ah, spoilers. <laughs> okay, I'm not looking at that. <laughs> I just read that and it was like, don't don't look at this if. And I was like, nope. Spoilers. Okay. And then what's all this then? Do not shuffle this card pack. Okay, what are they? These are probably starter cards. Maybe. But look, they've got stuff that I guess you match up. So. Art. So it's kind of explaining stuff, right? And it's kind of walking you through. So this, I think this is the introductory stuff. So I'm going to put this back in the bus. Um, so we've opened up all those. We've got purple... Purple thing in the doohickeys. Lots of red cubes. Lots and lots and lots of red cubes. Put those in there. Purple cubes. Alright, so let's. I looked underneath, there was nothing else. I've opened up all the packs. The boards are here. So her board is somewhere. So the boards are here, and like I was saying, they're divoted. Yeah, it's a tutorial deck, and I'm I'm kind of really curious about it. So teach us how to play this game proper. And, you know, those packs to make sure no moisture. Okay. All this. What, what, what is this? What is this? Oh. Huh. I guess to keep it together. The 
the book. Oration Journal. Awaken Realms is known for this type of thing where they do the, uh, you know, go to page 36 to read number seven. That's kind of their their way of, you know, their storytelling MO. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I thought it was. Go to page 10, but look at the drawings in here. These are really good. You know, Plague Burrow, so there's story here. These pages are getting like, the pages are nice. The binding, eh. Could have been better. I might have to like figure out something, but this is the story. We're definitely not spoiling it. Um, these are the intro cards. Oh, here's Naima's board right here. I'm an idiot. I looked at it when I first opened the box. <laughs> ah, Jason, you probably shaked your head. You probably shook your head at me like three times. It's like, dude, you looked at it when you first opened the box. Here's her. Here's her card. The uh, Naima, a woman of many faces who never stays in one place for too long. She remembers, uh, some remember her as a vile brigand and some as a mysterious warrior. There are even people who claim to have seen her decades ago when she was no older than she seems now. So there's her card. I looked at it, I looked at it right in the face. I love this though, when you open it up, it's like that. So that was just the main game. We're gonna push that down. Slowly twist the kettle. This box is heavy. Um, this box is heavy also. Alright, so we pull that one. Yeah. Okay. That's cool, it's a tutorial. Yeah. Alright. This way open. This is Age, Age of Legend, and the Last Night. So these are the two expand. These are two of the three expansions that came with the um that that was in the Kickstarter. These are stretch goals. Stretch goals. Oh, I'm sorry. Before I open them up, open it up. Painted Grail stretch goals includes two additional full-size campaigns, each offering a vast world to explore and countless hours of mysteries and secrets to uncover. In the last night, players foray into frozen apocalyptic Avalon 400 years after the core boxy campaign events. So, spoilers. There, they see the aftermath of all the decisions made during the fall of Avalon and bring the history of the human conquest to a conclusion while tackling unique encounters, a new exposure mechanic, and dangerous locations with the help of their unlikely ally. The Age of Legends takes place 600 years before the Korbox campaign. It throws the characters into a thrilling story alongside legends such as Arthur, Lancelot, Merlin, and Nimue, allowing players to discover the origins of many myths and places they came to know in other campaigns. While traveling beautiful, wild Avalon, Characters will also get to command entire armies and build structures thanks to the new military power mechanic. And again, together with the basic Fall of Avalon campaign, uh, these two new stories create an intricately connected trilogy that spans a full millennium and is told across hundreds of exciting locations. Ooh, this turned weird. There we go. Hundreds of exciting locations uh, and journal pages offering a broad game experience unlike any other. So there's Nazar, Colin, uh, Duana, Theobald, Toil, Dagon, Mob, Sloan, and Donkey. So 30 chapters, two to three hours each. Woo! <laughs> uh, let's see. Components, eight cardboard characters, so more characters, and one pack Donkey. So let's get into it. So, say more save sheets. Okay. Nima, 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 Sloan, Dagon, Mob, Yule, Nima, Theobald, 
Fulin, Duana, and Nazir. If I messed up any of those. What's really cool about these letters, and I don't and Steven, I, I don't know if you were here to catch these, but these tell why they're doing it. These tell the start, like the origin. Someone has sent them a letter. Or in this one, they're sending a letter to someone. Donkey. So these are their these are their individual boards. We'll take a look at those. And then stuff. Alright, I'll take a look at them now. Sure. Yep, because they're falling out of their holsters. <laughs> Got a little overzealous. Uh let me see. Here we go. Putting these back in is going to suck. Alright, so we've got Sloan. When Weirdness devoured his home, he was left only with stories of the glorious past. Now he's old and childless. Wow. And wants to leave something behind, a story about his great deeds. Kind of depressing. So there's Tim. He's got abilities. There aren't many wandering storytellers left. Even fewer are still traveling between settlements. She's not one of them. She only wants to find her lost apprentice. The starting combat deck, starting diplomacy deck, tells you how to build her out. Which is cool. Like I said, putting these back in is going to suck. Um, Theobald. On his way to Avalon, Knight Theobald contracted the Red Death. Betrayed by his family, he ended up confined on a plague ship until the king allowed sick knights to serve him again as Red Shield. Whatever that means. It looks pretty awesome. This artwork. Mad props. Something's back in here. I, I... Hey, look. It worked. Right, so you. Duana. Determined to do anything to defend her tribe, Duana made a pact with a power that few witches dared to contact. Her tribe exiled her, expelled her as a result, filling Duana with a bitter resentment. So this is really the B squad. Like <laughs> these are people who you're like, yeah, uh, you know, do we want to entrust the future to them? No, <laughs> no, we do. No, 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 we don't. Alright, who's next? Fayul. Once a member of a prominent group of weird hunters, she, now she is the only weird huntress alive. Black Drifter killed them all. So I guess her story is to find the Black Drifter. And... Nazir. A traveler from... from uh, antique land who after years of wandering ended up in arthur's court following his flight to avalon he once again became an explorer Then we've got Dagon, an orphan adopted by a wealthy butcher. Sure, it's his turn to pay the debt to his community by ending the food shortage. I, I mean, sure. Looks okay. Okay. <laughs> Colin. I would play as Duana. You'd play as Duana? I'd probably play... I probably might play as her. She looks cool. Uh, born in a proud tribe that never accepted Arthur's rule, Colin formed an unusual bond with a she-wolf who saved her life during one of her hunts. I'd probably play with this character. I like ranged. I like tanks, but ranged really calls to me. So, that would probably be my pull. 
there. Get in there. Get in there. Here we go. Fagan? Those are all the characters of this, these two expansions. Put them there. Pop this down. Pop them up. So, the two stories of two stories of um age of legend and last night so i pr i think the the trilogy is age of legend painted grail and then the last night from what they said at the back so those are the stories we've got the characters and there is a lot here to unpack the end and the beginning so this is the age of legend stuff these are the map tiles so i'm not going to show all of them okay because spoilers So, I'm going to go back here. I'll show you this artwork. I'm not going to show everything. But it's, like I said, it's like Seventh Continent where you're building out what you see. Ooh, I want to see that. <laughs> that's almost a spoiler. All right. That's in there. So, that's. Um, this is age, so this is part one. And I think I might end up having to do that. Um, so when Cody and I play, we might play Age of Legend, then we'll play Painted Grail, and then we'll play The Last Night. Just to keep the story arcs going in a proper direction. Maybe, maybe, the game will take over 200 hours to finish. It says that there are 50 in the first, in the base game, in the base game, there are 15 chapters, two to three hours each. Do the math on that one. Uh, the last night, once again, show you some quick stuff. I'm not going to show you the back of it because that's a little, also some spoiler. So that tells you how to lay it all out. I mean, I, the one thing I really got to... I gotta tip my hat to them is oh what is that? what I really gotta tip my hat to them is that Awakened Realms does really good in terms of the insert trade. Because you know some games, fantasy flight games, <coughs> some companies will just be like, here's a box that is and here's a bag of stuff. Figure it out. So you gotta go find organizers. Awaken Realm actually get, this isn't the first time, Nemesis has this too. Where Awaken Realms gives you an insert tray to organize your stuff. The thing that concerns me though, yeah, I've read where some people have taken like 15 hours on a chapter. Oh my gosh. That sounds awful, Jason. Uh, the thing that concerns me is you see this right here? These are unsleeved. And unsleeved, it's it's almost it's almost a tight fit. It's not too tight. But when you start sleeving these cards, this is going to bloat immensely. Like it's not going to be, it's not going to be, oh, well, you got this little bit of space, it'll fit. No, this is going to bloat immensely. So that's a concern. I think it's, it's, the inserts are only built for unsleeved cards. Then they've got like some filler ones here. We'll get to all that. So we've got encounter cards that are here. I'm scared to open them up because I don't want to mix up old and new. You know what I mean? Like telling the story proper. Maybe the books might be able to keep us solid because this says 100 and this one says 98. And they're both secret cards. So I'm scared that these will like completely mix up. Special A, special G events, spoilers, mega spoilers. Uh, but we're going to open up some of them. I'm going to open up one at least. And then I'll show you the minis. Chapter one set up for what? You don't know. Like, which one's chapter one? Uh, and we've got, like, uh, a pack donkey. Gotta look at him. Each party member loses one terror when you're walking with the donkey. Uh, the inserts really do not hold sleeve cards. I had to do custom for the core game. I think they got lost somewhere in Avalon and couldn't figure out where to go. Oh no. 
Wow. So you can get lost. It says hugging session. You get to hug the donkey and lose terror. I'm 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 not mad about this. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, and different things. So that was a hugging session. This was bye bye, my hoped friend. So you get donkey cars. A game like this needs a nice wooden chest to hold everything. Or a bus. Uh I won't open up the special cards. Um, only because it looks like these are all spoilers. But I'll open up one of these encounter ones so we can look at smart. Everything is like special, 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 secret, secret. I was like, I don't want to spoil everything. All right, so, oh, these are some combat cards and encounter cards. So one of the encounter cards, let's look at that. That. Cult induction. Lots of stuff going on there. Lots of stuff. I cannot wait to see what all that means. And then combat. Poison weapon. Or fuel. So. I know, I would love to open these and like run through all them with you, but they, they are like secrets. They're all secret cards. There's no item cards in here. There's nothing that's like... Oh my gosh. I just saw a spoiler of the Holy Grail. <laughs> so, uh, specials. They're all special cards and chapter-specific things um, that are in here. I can open up these. These are encounters. I just saw the Holy Grail. These up. Encounters, more combat cards. So encounter card. The Pale Lady. As long as they don't impose on the, like, the artwork or the function of the game, I'm fine. I'm just pulling from the stack. So these are probably their starter cards. These are probably their starter cards. All right, so let's take a look at some minis. This is Colin, 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 with her wolf. This is awesome, and the paint. This must be epic. That's who I'll be playing with for sure. Um, this is Nazir, with his parchment and his pack of things and wares and walks about the boot. There's actually writing that's on this thing. I wish I could get closer to show it to you. It's actually writing on this. Um, this is, uh, Dagan, the butcher. Got a hook for a hand. No. Meat that he has his foot on, like some type of meat. Big dude. Um, this is Sloan. The Sloan. Lots of coats, armor, big sword. Put all that wrapped around. Painting that is going to be. Uh, this is fuel, fuel. Tim the wizard. <laughs> <laughs> nice Monty Python reference. This is fuel. This is this is Duana, the witch. It's really detailed. I mean, the poses you'll be like, oh, the poses aren't anything to write home about, but it's super. Uh, this is. Mobbed, mobbed, M A B D, mobbed. Uh, 
This is Theobalt. Yep, red. And then we got Donkey. This is the Donkey. Got a mini for the Donkey. Beast of Burden. And I'm assuming these things go in here. So, yeah, why not? I don't have to fill, fill with it sliding everywhere. Just pop them out. Popping them out. Yep, I was right. So they go in here. Going there. This goes over it. Yeah. Throw those to the side. Like I said, I all these are like secret and and don't open, and they have a bunch of stuff on them that says, "Do not do this." Then we can look at Angel Light. This is the things we'll have to do is this is the story. The motley like the the paper here, this paper feels amazing. The binder that it's in is crap. So, like I said, if I feel that they're gonna start popping out, they've got space for punch holes. So what I'll probably do is I'll probably take them out of this binder, three hole punch them, and then put them in a real binder. And go from there. But the artwork on this stuff is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So this is the first expansion. Well, first two. So these are the two expansions, the Kickstarter goals, Age of Legend, and Last Night. So part one and part three, and then the main game is part two. But yeah, I haven't had issues. I have a friend who paints, so when I get my Hell the Last Saga game, I'm sending it to him to paint them. <laughs> haven't had issues with paper coming off, for, for what it's worth. Okay. It just looks like it, it's really... So, worst case scenario, they've, they've spaced it out enough so you can three-hole punch them and put them in a, in a real binder. Alright. Second box. So much paper. I'm like, that's just so much paper. Okay. What are we going to next? We'll go to this stuff in a little while. I got Echoes of the Past, whatever that is. <laughs> the Red Death. Which is the the next expansion for this game. The advanced advanced actually let me let me pop this over so you don't get the reflection as you read with me. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it says the advanced red death campaign provides a challenge for experienced groups of players, giving them a new exciting story to play through and new ways to advance their characters. Journey to Camlin, the ancient human capital abandoned during the Plague of the Red Death. Deal with new exciting threats with unique rules such as separate mini-encounters outlined on secret cards. Uncover the secrets of the homelands while making your way through locations dripping with mood and foul miasma. Arm yourself with new knowledge and find allies among two new races, the Wild Picts and a mysterious Fomorian. 
learn brand new advanced skills and find unique ancient items, but beware of the horrific dance macabre that trots up and down the city streets with the shrill sound of pipes, inviting you to join their eternal dance. Seven chapters, two to three hours each. Good lord. <laughs> okay. It says you do need the base game to play this. So the red death. Oh, more stories. More stories. Last night, Age of Eleven and Fall of Avalon. So after you beat those three, you can play this, is what they're saying. Okay, so this is the location cards of the homelands. Uh, this is the Miasma Tracker. Miasmas are, for people who don't know, it's like a dense fog. Usually toxic, um, but it's usually like a dense fog. Uh, something about up the city. So the, that brings out cards. Red Death Help card. And then stuff. Upper Plaza. So this builds out a picture of an entire city. So instead of walking through the land, you're walking through a city. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ancient item. I have to pick up a lot of paper after this. So <laughs> ancient items or plastic. Let's grab one. We've got the partisan. When you connect two symbols or this gain two red, ignore the rate. And then their secret switch. I'm not going to show. Uh, dance, dance. All players now control the dance macabre together. You can look up the rules in EOS verse 817 at every moment. Okay. The secrets of things to come. And then this is the encounters and the story. Fills out. Chapters. We're not going to get to this for a while. I'm going to forget it well into uh when when we get there <laughs> so uh let's see we've got Fremorian sentinel okay so that's the yellow we've got a plague beast Ugh, i hate plague beast we've got secrets but before we got secrets we got one more encounter the blues freed Reveler is not the captain. Then there's a bunch of secrets, and then the chapters of the story, which I'm not going to spoil too much. Then we got minis. So the minis are this is the dance macabre. Not the greatest mini. This looks like a Meld jello stuff. It's not as detailed as before. I see people playing music and stuff. Not really cool with that. There is who's the guy? This is doo -doo -doo -doo. the guy with the shield. The guy with the shield. Who are you? The Formorian Sentinel. This is the Formorian Sentinel. That's pretty detailed and cool looking. And then we've got the Plague Beast. Oh, creatures that I should happen to show out of the blue. That's the Plague Beast. Those are the only minis in here. So this is basically advanced game, uh, end game. So after you've beaten all three, you're like, hey, I, I beat all three, I want more. That's this. And it's an advanced tactic. So it's not like, oh, it's more... Or normal mode. No, this is advanced. So it's gonna be it's gonna be uh harder. And you've got story. Warp fleet dock, book of secrets, and all that other stuff. On here and these letters are the letters from whoever wrote them that we will read when they're 
So that's the Red Death. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to show you this neoprene map. I'm going to put that. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to... We've got more boxes. Monst we've got Monsters of Avalon. We've got Mounted Heroes. <laughs> and we've got Monsters of Avalon Past and Future. So lots and lots of boxes. Oop, I lose my neoprene. Put this back over here. And hope this doesn't... There we go. Um, let's do... Monsters of Avalon. I'll put these ones back down. Lots of boxes. Lots of boxes. So I think we got everything. I think we got everything from this game. I think Cody and I got every single thinking thing. Alright. It's like Christmas! <laughs> All right, uh, Tainted Grail, Monsters of Avalon, Past and Future. So this may be the minis for, um, for The Last Night and Age of Legend. Maybe. Let's see. Tainted Grail, The Fall of Avalon expansion included 20 additional plastic minis and 20 additional cards. These are the Doomwing, Torchbearer, all this other good stuff, and 22 new Guardian encounter cards. The last night or age eleven campaign is required, which is what I figured. So these are for this is for the expansion. This isn't for the main game. And they show you how to set them in there. I like that. That is a big mini. That is a massive mini. Okay, so oh, it tells you how to put them back in properly. Okay, so we've got cards which will open up in a stack. Look at this thing. <laughs> I, need, I need both hands to hold it. <laughs> Look at this. So I'm going to hold it as best as I can and I'll spin it as I go. So I see a knight. It's some screaming creature. I need like artwork to show how I'm supposed to paint this thing. There's a claws and it's just like a knight with some screaming creature that's supposed to fly. That's one. This is the other one. It's like a three-headed clock monster. Look at that. The wings, look at the look how detailed the wings are. Super detailed. Okay. Then it starts getting. I don't know what this does, like three blob blob thing. Oh, that's not good. Some stuff that fell out, fell out of place. Uh, wow. It's the hair. This is all hair. That awesome. Oh no, it's a cape. It's not hair. It's a cape, but it's textured. It's not smooth. It's like a chain cape. This lizard guy with a knife and a that's awesome. Got Big Man. These minis are amazing. Look at Big Man. He's got his axe. Back's kind of busted, but sure. Stitched together. Look at this guy. That's his face. That's his face. Right there. Ah. His neck is kind of bent up and turned as he's... There are people tied to stakes! Look at that! Those are people tied to stakes. And he's just kind of walking by them. 
How are you going to paint? Oh, somebody who is better at painting needs to paint these for me. And on his back is like some type of pack creatures or something crawling. Even the ground, there's... I don't know if you can see through there. You see the people? There's one guy right there. There's the other one. So they're people tied to stakes. This is like a... Tr oh, this is awesome. This is a tree witch. Look at this thing. This is her. Up here. And there's her body like slenderly curving around the entire tree. So it's like this amalgam of, of multiple minis. So you see her face, right? And then it'll go up top. You see her body starting to stretch and bend. All around these are legs right here. Those are legs that are crawling up the tree. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Weird plant creature. Very detailed. Very detailed. What person's coming up with this? And then this thing. Ugh, that's the face. As you look at it. Somebody's on top riding. Here. Coming out of it. Look at this. Yes. Uh, those are the bottom ones. So many minis. So, so many minis. <laughs> Let's see. This guy. Or lady. Babies in there. There's babies in there. <laughs> oh my gosh, why are there babies in there? Alright. Who's the person that comes up with it? Thank you for coming up with it, but it's still kind of twisted. Like a normal lady of sorts. Sitting on a branch. Exposed. Exposed aid. Person has a hole through them. Like, you see that blue that's going through their midsection? That's the other side of the table. They're out of sign. <laughs> it might. It might, Steven. It might. Oh my gosh. This is insane. They still see the cross at the bottom. Gotta be a ghost. Gotta be. Spanish Inquisition, if I could get them out. And showing the words. Heretic. Look. See the words in the book? Can't get too close. So this is for the two expansions. That's what this box is for. That's a wait. That is a some type of flying creature. Stuff of nightmare. There's a web. Why is there a web? Not a spider. I, I... <laughs> These happy children. If you look at their heads, they are all teeth. And that's a hanging body that they've eaten to death. Off of a tree branch. <laughs> so, you know, safety. Four of them, and they're just chewing on that guy. Alrighty. That is minis for. Oops, I have skull. more to add so it's called the pale lady so these are just these are new encounters 
All these are new encounters. So there's the Pale Lady. You hear artwork, so that's that weird looking lady. Bean Chalk. The Unchained War Beast. I want to know what that thing was. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I must know. I must know what you are. The crawling creature is called the Manipede. <laughs> These are like really that weird buzzy looking creature that we saw was the Giglerum. Giglerum? The happy children with the mouth is called the Fod. The orphaned heart. And here's that big flying weird creature dude called the Alelan Trenchant. That gravy. Ooh. Then we go to for the base game. Taylor Grail, Monsters and Minis. Monsters of Avalon. Fall of Avalon expansion included 20 additional plastic miniatures. Do not include additional game rules. This is for the main game. Angry mob, all types of nasty garbage. All right, so tells you how to put them back in the box. What in the who? Okay, there's a reason why you don't they don't mess with mermaids. Okay, so here's the creature. He's not eating her. That's his tongue. <laughs> like you're like, holy crap, he's eating her. No, no, that's his tongue. His tongue is a maiden, a naked maiden that he uses to lure people to get close, and then pulls them in and eats them to death. Look at that. You have to ask yourself, why? Why? <laughs> uh, we got, this looks like some type of four-headed snake. And this is purely textured. Like, these are completely textured. This, is, this thing feels awesome. We got a one-headed snake. Completely textured. If you get these minis, <laughs> Legion. Look at the hands. Those are hands raising from the ground. This wash of death. Man, painting these are gonna be insane. Uh, all of them are super textured. Oh, let's see. This stag, the face in the front of it. After playing uh, Kingdom Death, I don't trust any stags. No antelopes, not at all. I run away from all of them. Guy on a horse. This is pretty cool. Very cool. He's just like standing on a branch. The lights out. <laughs> I have to take a second to be like, what is he holding? He's holding someone's spinal cord. <laughs> okay. So if he's headless. And look, that is not a whip. That is somebody's spinal cord. There's the skull right there. 
a really long spinal cord. But he's using someone's spinal cord as a whip. A headless horseman. A, a spinal cord whip. Solid. Uh, some creature that I will never try to meet in a dark alley. Just textures. Uh, a wolf that is dead and his heart's hanging out the bottom. Yeah. Insane. We went through all of those. Either a horse warg or a warg horse. <laughs> Whatever it is, it ain't happy. Got stuff sticking out of it. It's cousin Bob. Thing has like a bunch of swords sticking out of its neck. Back. It's a, it's a bird, like a bird creature. I've ever tried to kill it. It was not successful. This person is doing some serious yoga. Serious yoga. Yep, that's his arm. Like a satyr. Yeah. Busted amalgam of creature with a broken jaw, just kind of ruined. Definitely getting a nightmare horror theme. Yeah, yeah. These legends are awful. So these are in the base game that we'll be facing. Now this thing is interesting. It's got this dude by the neck, and with one, he's got two har arms holding a sword. One arm's hold, another arm's holding the guy by the neck, like by the base of the Because he's just lifting him off the ground, walking with him. And then another one has like a stick, a staff that it's holding. So, we're going to have to fight that guy, I assume. And we've got Predator. Rowdy farmers, probably the least of our problems. <laughs> Rowdy farmers, the witch, Bana. and then we just got a regular old knight who will probably demolish us. But he's the regular looking. Those are all the base game minis. Simple enough, right? Simple enough. Mounted heroes. I would not have been able to afford all this stuff <laughs> if I went on this by myself, so thank you, Cody. <laughs> uh, mounted heroes. Okay, so it's all the characters on mounts, on their mounts. So I guess you could find their mounts and then ride them. Cool. You can swap out walking for being on a mount. And all of them are different, but cool looking. So these are all the heroes. Got a stag. Don't trust it, girl. Don't trust any type of stags or antelopes. With a character on it. I'm not sure who just yet. Uh, it says it at the bottom. But every single mount is different. Every single one. Like, look at this one. Look at that. This thing is super detailed. This is Bayor. This is Bayor's. It, it's a boar. It's like a war boar. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I gotta read the rule book first, man. I gotta read the rule book first. Um, this looks like oh, this is a maggot. Maggot's down here. Holy crap! How's she writing it? Anyway, let's let's show you the mini. Every single one is different, uniquely defined. It's a bear, it's like a bear with weird bone armor on. This is Nazir. Nazir is uh, on a winged antelope. Don't trust it. Don't trust the antelope, Nazir. You not play Kingdom Death? I don't know who she is yet. I will learn as I play, but look at her mount. It's like this bone wooden, like bone creature that runs really fast. Stalker. We've got a war horse. We've got a regular horse. So this is for that, I forgot his name, but the one old guy who wants to make a name for himself in the expansion, in the um, last name. Check this thing out. Check this thing out. Look at that. Look at that. This this looks like uh Nima's Nima Nima Nima's mount. So we get mounts in the game, which is cool. Get him. This is maggot. It's got like this rat mount. It's like a, it's like a beaver. Big beaver. <laughs> he wants to make a name for himself. Duh. <laughs> uh, this is the guy with the scythe. Uh, a reef, like a, a beaver or whatever. Got him like a regular horse. He's gonna kill that horse that's that side. No. We've got our flute player, our minstrel, on um, what looks like a jackalope. And we've got the archer, the one who, uh, Colin, on her wolf. On her battle wolf. Put some armor on it, it's going to ride it in the battle. Okay, so that is the mounts. Yep, that is the mounts. Look at the picture. Great artwork. Echoes of the past. I don't know what this is. But let's find out. Let's find out. All right. Components, one book of memories, 52 achievement sheets, 52 legendary action and ability cards. Echoes of the Past expands all three Tainted Grail campaigns, Fall of Avalon, Last Night, and Age of Legends, by adding personal stories and unique memories dedicated to each of the 13 playable characters. Gather individual achievements and unlock short, interesting memories that will change the way you look at your character. Gain access to powerful... One use legendary action cards. Complete your journey of self discovery to receive a permanent advanced character action 
But stay vigilant. Some things are best left forgotten. So we see in here. Oh, so it's cards for all of them. We don't laminate these things. So it's cards for all of the characters. So it's their backstories. It's their backstories. That is awesome. Book of Memories. And there's the text of what you have to read as you discover more. It's the character's backstory. So now we've got we've got the letter saying, hey, I want you to do this thing. We got then we now we actually get to learn who our characters are. How did they even get this in the box? Um I think this is a great addition. That is a fantastic addition to the game. It said it adds a little bit of length time to it, but you get to learn who your character is and what they've done. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's only for the core game, but you can use any of the characters. Let's see what else we got. We've got... Before we get to the surprise box, let's look at companions. This is companions. Okay. Made in China. The <laughs> actual components may vary from those shown. This product is not a toy, a collectible. All right, so these are companions. Okay. Oh, they're super tiny. So you get companions in the game. You get this eagle. Eagle. Eagle mini standing on a skull. You get a, uh, this looks like this is a cat on some paper licking its paw. A cat companion. You get, what is this? This a badger. It's a badger. And a piglet. Oh, bother. Piglet stuff. And this is fantastic. So this is a little bit of extra. We really got everything for this game. Uh, Surprise box. So, ISIS Vanguard. We got one of these. Let's see if there's more. What be in here? Okay, so we've got letter. While we have prepared the shipment to the best of our ability, there is still possibility a small number of packages. Enter broken miniatures, contact these people. Uh, okay, so it says contact game found. And then this is... Alright, so we are, incredi we are incredibly excited to present you Tainted Grail, the Fall of Avalon. The first part of an amazing adventure set in the dark land of mists and legends. This game was the biggest project we had set upon so far, and the sheer scope of content you are going to experience is unprecedented. Over 700 cards, 100,000 words of the story, and over 1,000 unique art in the core box only all come together forming an experience that, will, that we hope will keep you on the edge of your seat for long, long hours. Painted Grail, The Fall of Avalon was also a massive team effort. Over 30 people worked on various parts of this game. We didn't only put countless hours into development, but also our hearts and passion. For us, this game was something we always wanted to create, a vast, unique setting, an immersive, branching story with surprising twists and turns, cooperative gameplay that will keep your minds exercised. We want to highlight one thing. This game would never, capital never, become a reality without your support. We are not only talking about money. Sure, funding was an important aspect considering the amount of content and the unprecedented scope of the project, <clears throat> but you but you have also provided us with amazing support, feedback, and motivation to keep going. 
Creating this game was at times daunting and required persistence discipline. Day in, day out, we have to keep going at the peak of our productivity. We are sure we would not be able to cross the finish line if not for your constant encouragement and support. Throughout the years, we have established a small tradition of adding surprise extra content for our Kickstarter backers, and this continues with Tainted Grail. Please keep in mind that the items you will find in this box are not stretch goals. These are extra bonuses on top of stretch goals you are going to receive. Included are... The Almanac of Avalon, an impressive 100-page long encyclopedia of Tainted Grail that you can use to expand your knowledge of Avalon, its strange places, its dangers, its peoples, and their customs. Each entry was annotated by one of the characters from the game, providing a unique perspective. Look at this. Oh, man! So, Places of Avalon. Look at this drawing. Look at this artwork. So, they talk about different areas. This is gorgeous. The Red Death, Myths and Legends. Weaponry, the Fey, the Fetch, Flesh Raid, Vagabonds of Morbon, Worms. Wow. And, it, and the book is really well made, too. That's awesome. Um, ISS Vanguard Art Book, an art book filled with amazing art from our next major board game that will be going live sometime in 2020. Uh, we really hope, and I backed it. We really hope you will enjoy both presents, but most importantly, we hope you will enjoy Tainted Grail. We wish you many, many lit menhirs, uh, many lucky encounters or, or excited discoveries on wild trail of the island, and we hope the weirdness never catches up with you. Make sure to leave your feedback about the game by posting a picture on social media or leaving a review on Board Game Geek. This will go a long way. Thank you. CEO, the game author, and Awakened Realms. So let's take a look at this art book because I backed this project. I didn't go all in on this one. I just got the base game and the backstories. Wait, that's the pet expansion. Yes, they are pets. You can get companions. Pop this open. This is hard covered. Hard covered. SS Vanguard art book. Promo art book of ISS Vanguard. I'll just kind of skim through. Pretty. Very pretty. I'll just skim through it. A lot of pages are stuck together. <laughs> but they're good looking book. Yeah, it looks really good. Wait, wait, what's that at the end? Like Knight Arthur stuff, maybe? Alright, so that is the surprise box. The Almanac is pretty cool. That was very nice of them to do that. Yeah, it, it does give a No Man's Sky feel for sure. All right, and take a look. Okay. So remember those coins that we had? Those like plastic ones? These are the metal ones. They all look the same. So they're the Menhar countdowns that go from one to eight. So Holy Grail on one side, Death on the other. Different symbols that are there. And they're all metal coins. So we got a slew of metal coins in as well as the um as well as the other ones. We'll be using metal coins. Uh then we got this book. Book. Book is life. And this book is something that you can just write in. It's just an extra book that you can write in, like, you just write whatever you want in it. Now, <laughs> Neoprene!
This is what we'll be playing the game on. It's bigger than my table. <laughs> so the new table, this is what we'll be playing it on. I can probably turn it this way. Nope, it's still bigger than my table. <laughs> so this here is the area where you're going to be laying out your cards and moving around and I don't know if you could, it, it looks like, it, if it looks like it's like coffee stain, it's not. It's actually drawings. This is like a house that's here. A castle. This is a castle, a mountain, like some, th these, is, these are cave drawing etches that are on here. That look here. This map feels amazing. So these are the encounter cards, because, you know, blue, purple, green, white. So those are the encounter cards. This must be the weather card section. These are the men hers. This looks like pictures, false, like pushed out pictures of them. These look like the timer ones that go on there. And then these look like, yeah, secrets, items. And then this looks like a go out area. So these, this is the neoprene mat for the game. It feels really good. I love that the edge is stitched so it doesn't peel, right? You don't see it like fraying at all. So it's pretty decent quality. And it actually looks really good on this on this camera. <laughs> so this might be a color I have to look into for the new table for the for the map for the new table because it looks really good on the camera. So neoprene goodness. But it looks really really good. All the images are very faint and light. Yeah, the mat, all the faint, all the images on it are faint light. They're not obtrusive or calling out, like, hurting your eyes. They actually look really good. Roll up. I don't like the, the, the container that they that they brought this in, like the the plastic. I don't like it. But what you gonna do? So rolled up. And that's it. That is it. Oh, these these go on the top. That is all of it. That is painted grail unbound. Back to the top here. This massive thing here. Here. It was past here. And then the box should, should close. Yep, it closes. Cool! <laughs> that, I've unboxed it all. So let's go to the top and have a chat. Use hair ties for more, for my, use hair ties. Oh, that makes sense. Hair ties. Yeah, so we've unboxed Tainted Grill. Um, you've got to see, you've got to see the full unboxing of it. So it's a massive box, actually. It's a massive box. I think if I put it up on the table, one, it might break my table, and two, you won't see me at all. It's like this high, and the table is a little bit lower, but it's super crazy. Yeah, using, using hair ties is a really great idea. That's a really great idea. So that was the unboxing. Um, Cody and I need to read through the book on this. So... Next week is the end of the week, and next week I've got Gloomhaven, I've got um, Arkham Horror Path to Carcosa, where Steven, Pac-Man, and I are going to get back into it, and then I've got um, Explore It on Sunday. After that, March is going to get weird, okay? March is going to get weird, because March is moving on. So, um, March I'm going to be boxing up a lot of stuff, so you'll see Gloomhaven, you'll see... You might, I think I might have to put a hold on scent. So you might see Explored in its place. And then you'll see um, another game uh, that I have. Because I still need to play Overboss and 
uh, Warp's Edge came in, so I'm going to be playing that. And um, I started watching some other playthroughs of another game, and I got really into it, and I was like, I think I want to give this game a try. So I ordered another one. That one's going to be played. And that's probably what's going to be played for the first three weeks of March. And then the last week of March, I'm going to be radio silent because I'll be moving. <laughs> but then I plan to come back um, the first week in April with an update. You will know what's going on, patrons. You will understand. You, I will keep you informed the entire time so there's no big surprises. So um, thank you, patrons. This is always for you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. YouTube subscribers who will be watching this later, thank you so much. I appreciate you as well uh, for you watching us play through, and I hope you enjoy this once it's released. So I should be releasing this on Monday. Um, so Patreon's got the first first dibs at it, and then I'll be releasing it to and posting it on Board Game Geek on Monday for everyone else to see. But that was Tainted Grail. Complete unboxing. There's a lot. Three hours per chapter. Fifteen chapters per campaign, and there are three campaigns. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. There's a lot of gameplay, and that doesn't include dying, because you know I'm going to die, especially if there's, if there's, I didn't, see, I only saw two dice in there. I only saw two dice. So if it's card pull, I got it, I, I have a better chance. But that is a lot. <laughs> um, so it, that doesn't count as dying, or like Jason said, somebody getting lost and and playing 15 hours for one mission. Good gravy. So we'll figure it out. Cody and I are smart guys. We'll, we'll get into it. We'll figure it out. We'll learn how to play. And I foresee that this game is probably going to be hitting the channel late April or mid-May. One of the two. Like late April. And if it's not late April, it's going to be midway. Because Bloodborne's there. Bloodborne's going to be played on the channel. I've been reading through that book. so. There's that, Painted Grail, and then um, I still have to get through Gloomhaven, explore it, lots and lots and lots and lots of games, Arkham Horror, lots of games coming. So I am not short of games. I actually, I actually stopped looking at Kickstarter <laughs> because I'm like, I think I'm, I'm getting the max Q. So I need to burn these games out, do the giveaway like I wanted to do for the channel and stuff like that. And show you the evolution of the channel uh update about the channel um i went out to i went out to the um to the wood shop yesterday with the guy who's building a table for me and him and i picked out the um the red oak that's going to be used on the table actual red oak so as those designs come out i'll be sharing them on the discord for the patreons to see and You'll get to see that build up. I'm talking with a bunch of other people right now about um, cameras and what's the best camera. And when I get, because this is going to be a new angle, you're not going to see this top down at the new place. You're actually going to see the overhead angled of the table so you can get a better view of everything. Um, yeah, it's just new stuff. I'm, I'm learning, I'm growing, I'm building. I'll get there one step at a time, but we'll make it. Bloodborne, Explore, Tainted Grail, Arkham Horror. Uh, there's Descent. There's you know there's there's Gloomhaven. There's so much stuff to play, and I'm going to play it all. <laughs> I am going to play it all. So um, that's all I really got. I'll let you all get back to your your Sunday and enjoy your time. Thanks for hanging out with me and going through this stuff. Um, Thanks, thanks for YouTube subscribers. Thank you so much. I appreciate you very, very much. Um, Patreons, big hearts, man. I, you're, you're making this possible, right? You're making this all possible. I mean, imagine if you roll, if you scroll back to my first video, look at what that looked like, and look at this. I'm evolving as I go, so things are getting better. So, if you like what you see, hit likes, subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, cool stuff. And I'll let you get on with your Sunday. Thanks so much. See you next week, Wednesday, for some Gloomhaven with the new character. Insert comment here. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye.